For most teens, being 15 usually means beginning high school or starting to learn how to drive. But for one Minnesota boy, that's the age he just finished, get this, his master's degree in physics. As you might imagine, Elliot Tanner has been impressing everyone around him pretty much his whole entire life. Tonight, Boyd Hooper looks back at when he was still in high school and helping out his peers. He's still learning. Remember that. As you meet Elliot Tanner, 10 years old. 5x squared plus 7y squared plus 9z squared. And just getting started. I think we have to kind of step out of the box sometimes to realize that this isn't a normal situation. Not normal at Normandale Community College. Z is equal to x squared minus y squared. For a 10 year old huh. to be enrolled in calculus three. Like cosine u sine v. Having already aced college algebra, statistics, physics, and trigonometry. Plus seven y squared where y is a squared. Not normal. Hey Elliot. Even then. Rolled over at four weeks old. <laughs> it just stopped. Started happening really, really quick. Patrick and Michelle are Elliot's parents. It's just us trying to keep up. Words at seven months, short sentences by a year. <laughs> the alphabet before he was two. <laughs> and then he learned it in Swedish right after that, just for the heck of it, I guess. Six times three. Eighteen. But Elliot's true love. Twenty-four. Six times numbers. Five. He would have these little magnetic numbers, and they were his little like loveys instead of stuffed animals. By three, he was doing addition with them on the play rug in his room. This is twenty plus twenty, and it makes forty. Elliot's only failure: kindergarten. When everybody else was talking about superheroes, um, he wanted to talk about a particle accelerator. So his parents looked to homeschooling, then online classes. And he just consumed curriculum faster than I could buy it. He was done with algebra in a month, done with geometry in two weeks. <laughs> After breezing through the high school curriculum. All right, go for it. At 10, Elliot has a 4.0 GPA. I just like using logical reasoning. As he nears the end of his sophomore year, of college. You probably know a lot more about it than I do. So it's an actually a capital X. Oh. Michelle waits for her son to check in. Hello. Hi. Between classes. I advocated for myself and I got some more points you on did. an assignment. Awesome job. At home, Elliot relaxes with his guitar. Four. And plays with his neighborhood <laughs> friends. <laughs> And it's not like he won't have a high school experience. I'm tutoring some of the students here. Remember, Elliot's here to answer any questions. You take the inverse of this one. Today, Elliot's helping teach Bloomington Kennedy's pre-calculus students. 